PDHPE preliminary course, uh, the assessment number four, it was a biomechanics question, and we're just going to review that assessment task now. Um, so we'll begin by looking at where the outcomes have come from in regard to what is being assessed, and it's outcome preliminary number nine, uh, which is the description or described biomechanical factors that influence the efficiency of the body in motion. The context for this task in particular is to do with fluid mechanics, flotation, centre of buoyancy and fluid resistance. So they're the areas that you need to, to have an understanding of in this task. The task the task required students to view the video at the following address and then to apply the principles of fluid mechanics to demonstrate how the laser swimsuit will enable athletes to improve their performance. The key things here are we're looking at the application of the principles of fluid mechanics in regard to the laser swimsuit and how is that going to improve their performance. You're required to do this in a minimum of 500 and a maximum of 650 words. Needed to use the, re the videos as a resource to support your discussion and you must include a bibliography of all your sources that you that you use to uh, help form your discussion and the application of the principles. If we look at the glossary of key terms and look at what an application or what it means when we apply. So to apply means to use, utilise, employ in a particular situation. So what we're doing is uh, we're applying those principles of, of fluid biomechanics to the the improvement of performance and we're doing that in reference to the laser swimsuit. So how does a laser swimsuit improve performance? Always important to have a look at the task rubric um, and the instructions that you'll need to undertake the task. Uh, the rubric Demonstrate an understanding of health and physical activity concepts. So that would be one thing that you're going to show through your your uh, completion of the task. You're applying skills of critical thinking analysis. Really important one is illustrate your answer with relevant examples. And that particular point there separated the the top marks from the from the average marks. And we needed to present this in a clear and logical way. And the clarity of your uh, expression of the application, uh, again, differentiated from, from the top marks to, to the, uh, the good marks. The criteria, the areas that you need to incorporate into your answer, uh, a, a brief outline of the laser swimsuit, so you need to discuss what the laser swimsuit was, how it had been developed. Um, the, the discussion centred around uh, a brief description of NASA's involvement along with um, Speedo and how they've developed that, how it had been utilised and improved performance. You should need to clearly relate the features of the swimsuit in relation to flotation. So you would need a, a definition of flotation, um, how that flotation uh, is improved through the use of the laser swimsuit, and then again how... Uh, the flotation can improve performance or the, the impact of flotation has it on the performance of a swimmer. That's worth three marks. So the top marks were, top students will be getting three marks for that particular part. The next area was in regard to the centre of buoyancy, and again you need to clearly have a an understanding of what the centre of buoyancy was about. You would need to define uh, the centre of buoyancy. Uh, how that differentiates from the centre of gravity, the the fact that centre of buoyancy is in water uh, varies and has a, a change to the centre of gravity outside of water, even though there is a centre of gravity for the swimmer in water. Uh, and then you would need to also describe how the centre of buoyancy is improved through uh, 
the the use of the laser swimsuit and then consequently how improvements in performance uh, occur as a result of that. Three marks for that particular section. The third area was to do with fluid resistance. Again, what is fluid resistance? A definition of that is required. Um, how fluid resistance can affect performance of the swimmer and then again relate that back to the the use of the the laser swimsuit. The bibliography was a, the last area um, with two marks there. If we look at the guidelines, the teacher marking guidelines, uh, the top marks in the top band um, 9 to 12 were able to do all of those things, give a brief outline of the laser swimsuit, clearly relate the features of the swimsuit in relation to flotation, also clearly relate the features of the swimsuit in relation to the centre of buoyancy, clearly relate the features of the swimsuit in, re in relation to fluid resistance. You needed to also demonstrate an understanding. The health and physical activity concepts also apply the skills of critical thinking and illustrate your answer with relevant answers, e examples. That That is a key thing for, as I said, the, the top marks to be able to get into that top band there. Bibliography and presentation in a clear and logical way. So that's what you need to do to get there. Um, now we might look at a couple of answers that uh, managed to do that. If we look at the first one, um, I, we can see that there's a description of the the laser swimsuit. It doesn't need to be long, it just needs to be concise, it needs to, to discuss what the laser swimsuit is. Um, and we can see that that's been done there in a neat, tidy, well well presented way that clearly examines that. Features of the laser swimsuit, again the flotation is is defined and then shown how the laser swimsuit is able to do that with an example. The example there again very clear um, and how that improved performance. Centre of buoyancy is discussed in this answer uh, giving us a def definition. Um, we can also see how the laser swimsuit is able to do that with examples. Fluid resistance, again, definition. Um, if we see in this next paragraph, again, how the laser swimsuit achieves that and how that improves performance. The example is, is listed there very, very well. An extensive resource list and well presented. So that's a, a good example there of uh, uh, an excellent performance in this particular task. If we look at another example, again, the use of underlining. I just commend students to, to do that to reinforce to the, the marker that you have a clear understanding of the key point. Um, it also draws the attention of the marker to to uh, those key terms that are used. Flotation described here, uh, defined I should say, um, given a good definition, how that improves or how that affects performance uh, with the use of examples. Centre of buoyancy discussed and also the centre of gravity and the difference between those is discussed in the next paragraph. Um, and again, referring back to the laser swimsuit and how the laser swimsuit is able to improve that performance in reference to, um, in this paragraph here, the, the uh, centre of buoyancy. The next section, again, in terms of Discussion of fluid resistance, discussion of what fluid resistance is, how that affects performance, and how the, scent, uh, the, the laser swimsuit is able to do that. The resource list, extensive, very well set out. Uh, so another good example of a, an excellent assignment here. Again... Um, 
Another example, this, this script describes or gives us an outline, a brief outline of what the laser swimsuit is about, um, giving us a brief history of how it came about and what it aims or what it says that it does to in terms of performance. Flotation is described, def, uh, defined I should say, how the, how the laser swimsuit is able to improve that and how that imp- maximises speed and velocity. Um, so that, that se- sequential um, ordering of the answer where definition of the t- key term in terms of flotation in this particular paragraph, how the laser swimsuit uh, achieves flotation and then consequently how the uh, improvement in performance is enabled by the laser swimsuit. Centre of buoyancy, we can see that again listed there, d- d- defined there I should say, very clearly stated um, how the laser swimsuit achieves or improves the centre of buoyancy and then how that consequently improves performance. Fluid resistance, again systematically the definition followed by the discussion of what the laser swimsuit does to improve that um, and then the resulting, uh, how that improves performance with examples. The example we can see in this situation is with regard to uh, Michael Phelps. And finally, the, the, the bibliography. Now, most students uh, should be pleased with their efforts in this particular task. Uh, I hope it's been made clear of how students what students need to do to achieve the top band marks um, where the outline outline of, of the uh, the swimsuit and then discussion of fl- flotation center of buoyancy and fluid resistance and how those each of those affected the, the performance of the swimmer and how the the uh, Laser swimsuit was able to improve performance. Examples needed to be provided and a clear understanding of, of the effect of the laser swimsuit enables students to get top marks in this uh, this particular task. Bibliography outlining the, uh, the resources used uh, and clearly set out in uh, academic uh, format was required to be placed in the assignment as well. Thank you.